Hi, this is Aline Maya from Wanda. I'm here talking with Akram Ben Barek, a Moroccan entrepreneur based in San Diego. This former investment banker founded Social IQ, a platform that measures brand social influence, and co-founded TechWadi, a non-profit organization building bridges between Silicon Valley and the Arab world. Akram, how are you? Good, how are you, Aline? I'm good too. So, you have a history of working in investment, but then left private equity in 2009 to fund Social IQ. Do you think being an investor prepared you for being an entrepreneur? I think we're never prepared enough as an entrepreneur because uh, you embrace uncertainty. Uh, the, the reality is that I, uh, as an investor, I, I got to learn a little bit, I got to see uh, people's experience uh, and looking at it from outside is a little bit different. Okay, so for example, what were the biggest challenges that you have uh, to overcome? As an entrepreneur, one thing that you always struggle to do uh, or to make decisions on is what not to do. And uh, it seems obvious when you put a plan that you want to accomplish so much with very little resources and uh, in a, maybe in a shorter time than, uh, than reality uh, offers. And what happens, you end up making a mistake. I think that's the one thing I, I fell into, trying to accomplish a lot uh, to please investors uh, or uh, maybe even to please myself. So, do you have any uh, lessons to share? Absolutely. See, uh, the, the number one thing uh, uh, for entrepreneurs is to really focus uh, when, uh, when, you, when you start a, a business. I guess the two main things to focus on is to f make it simple. Uh, get rid of all the features, make your solution very easy to understand and, uh, 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 and plain uh, until you validate. And number two, always make it with the client or, or customer uh, in mind. Did you have moments where you were afraid that you will fail? One thing you need to be really ready for is to not be fearing failure. Failure is, is just part of the journey, it's not the end. You look at different, uh, different enterprises, different uh, uh, big stories, uh, they probably failed as the, the first idea, but they pivoted uh, to maybe a bigger uh, a bigger opportunity. What are the biggest issues that you see entrepreneurs struggling with when they show up at TechWadi? When we started TechWadi uh, eight years ago, uh, the idea was to just start building that network of uh, Arab American technology professionals, entrepreneurs, and executives and investors. So I don't think uh, I, I remember seeing many. Uh, many startups at that time. Now I think uh, TechWadi is mature enough where you see more business plans, where you see more startups. The common issues that you find with those startups is that you find unrealistic objectives. Uh, a lot of times the entrepreneurs is disconnected with the realities of the market. And uh, I think uh, with those uh, new programs that are built, uh, those incubators, accelerators, uh, there is a much a closer, uh, closer contact with reality. They come with a lot of ambitions, uh, thinking that uh, they're going after a hundred billion dollar market, not actually uh, 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 drilling down to what the real market is, who is the decision maker, who pays, who pays for the product, uh, which department exactly in, in, in the company. So do you think there's a issue that are specific to Morocco? I don't know if they're specific to Morocco or specific to the Arab world. People are not striving for excellence. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not striving for, for perfection. I think you have to aim for perfection to at least achieve excellence or uh, aim for excellence to achieve goodness, right? Uh, there is no discipline. There is no really hunger to make it. So uh, it's almost like, uh, I would call it the spaghetti strategy, you know, just uh, uh, you, you, you throw the, stra the spaghetti against the wall, if it sticks, that's cool, if it falls, then <laughs> you let it go. A lot of them end up to be uh, of uh, not, not up to the aspirations and expectations of, of the end user. Uh, the, the, probably the other, re the other challenge that Morocco has, uh, and probably unique to it, is that Morocco tends to be more closer to the French culture than the Arab culture. Most portals end up being in French. So uh, it, it 
takes away from the from the potential to go after the Arab market, which is really very significant. Do you think that this difference of culture can also help American entrepreneurs back? It, it, it can, but it, there is also an opportunity to actually take it to their advantage. You can learn from, from the French market and you can anticipate. I think uh, the, the Moroccan entrepreneur ought to consider the Arab world as its new market uh, before any other market because it's it's quite significant. 300 million, 350 million people, 400 million people with uh, uh, with uh, close to 90 million users today is not something to to neglect. How could the, the Moroccan entrepreneurs but also uh, the entrepreneurs from the Arab world overcome all the challenges that you mentioned? Try to have more collaboration, more opportunities also for collaboration between between North Africa and the Middle East uh, um, through uh, Pan-Arab events that are more organized on the western side of, of the region. Probably the most important thing, no real success uh, really happened without high quality education. So you can't have startups without people behind it. You can't have the people to build startups if you don't have high quality education. Mm -hmm.